This is a good problem to have. The batteries are full, but the sun is still striking the solar panels. So what can we do to use the surplus electricity that would otherwise be wasted? If you're like me, you're probably running around turning on things in your house trying to use the extra electricity. Maybe it's an air conditioner, maybe it's a water heater, but whatever it is, I'm manually turning it on. And then when the sun goes down, I have to remember to manually turn that back off. Now what if there's a way we can automate it? And this led me down the road of trying to learn about something called Arduinos. This is an Arduino Mega, and this one is made by a manufacturer called Elgu, and they sent me a whole kit that we're going to look at today. So here we go. Now this company, Elgu, reached out to me and asked if they could send me some stuff that might be of interest to the viewers of the channel. And it was perfect timing, because I was looking at these to buy one, because I want to do diversion loads, and I want to do it automated. Now this is a starter kit with an Arduino Mega in it, and they also sent me an 8-channel relay module. Now this is the Arduino Mega. Now Arduino is an open source platform, but they're also a manufacturer. So you can purchase Arduinos that are actually manufactured by Arduino. This one happens to be an Arduino Mega, but it's manufactured by Elgu. So we have a CD in this kit, and it, I mean, they, there's a whole bunch of things in here. This is a temperature and humidity sensor. So I want to see if I can maybe set this up in the garage, and if it's too cold, it turns on the heater, and if it's too hot, it turns on the air conditioner, and see if we can make this automated. And then I asked for the relay modules, and it looks like we got some wires and a little screwdriver that came out of here. Let's crack this open. Check that out. We have eight relays on this. So my idea is that I'll be able to control eight separate things using these relays. Now these are fairly small. Let's see what they actually read on here. We're limited to 10 amps. So these will probably have to go to control a larger contactor. Here's a rundown on the basic idea. So this is a very simple thermistor. So let's say this is reading that the tank is cold. Well, the Arduino can see that, and if the Arduino also sees that the battery is full and the tank is cold, it could turn on the relay, which is connected to the larger contactor, and that could send electricity to the water heating element that would be in the tank. And then that would heat the tank up until the, the thermistor is satisfied. And if I use the right contactor, I could run this directly off DC so I'm not using the inverter because maybe the inverter is uh, being fully used right now or maybe I don't need hot water maybe this says no I don't need hot water uh, but instead uh, this temperature sensor in the house says hey I'm too hot and it, it then turns this on a different relay to turn on the air conditioner and it starts cooling the house off and the air conditioner needs to run off the inverter but the water heater might be able to run directly off the battery. This opens up a whole world of possibilities if I can figure out how to program these things. Uh, so I'm really excited to go through this whole kit. And they have tutorials on the CD. So I'm gonna start uh, going through the tutorials and I'm gonna start learning how to do the programming for this thing. And oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm really excited about this. Uh, I'm going to leave a link for the kit in the description below, and in, the, in some upcoming videos, hopefully you will start to see me incorporate some automated diversion loads. So thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.